right, it's time to get into some high school football. We have two local teams competing for state titles in Tuscaloosa. The match for the 5A state title just wrapped up at Bryant Denny Stadium. That's where we find NBC 15's Colin Cahill. He has the highlights from the first night of action. Colin. <laughs> That's right. We start with a mainstay here. St. Paul's, they've been to plenty of state title games in the past five years. They're back again, this time in a rematch against Pleasant Grove of the 2014 state title game. This year, it's for the Class 5A state title. St. Paul's going for its fifth state title in school history as Steve Mass leads the Saints out onto the field. Saints defense is going to get in the action early. This is Trey Nunn on a nice tackle for a loss. Great start for the Saints defense this time. Saints on the offense, it's Bester McFadden. Finds Will Passo on the slant and look at the move. He's gone, the wheels for Mr. Passo are really fast. Saints jump out to a seven nothing lead after the huge touchdown catch. After the Spartan touchdown to tie things up, Javante Green Billups is gonna get the return here. He sets his blocks, hits a hole, and this is a huge game. Huge return for the senior, sets up the Saints with great field position. This time it's Green Billups on the run again. He takes it for a nice 15 yard gain, but the Saints can't punch it in. They're gonna settle for a Grayson Miles field goal attempt. It is up and it is good. The Saints take a 10-7 lead. Big play here. We're gonna lose the ball and then we're gonna find it and then it's on the ground. The Spartan quarterback fumbles it and the Saints jump on it. Big play for the Saints, but they head to the locker room at halftime down 14 to 10. Now it was a totally different second half. The Saints erupted for 19 unanswered points. They just won the Class 5A state title 29 to 21. They're getting the trophy right now. An amazing season, a perfect season for the Saints. Tomorrow we will have Spanish Fort taking on Pinson Valley in the Class 6A state title game. Of course, the Toros one year removed of the heartbreaking loss to Oxford last season. So make sure you guys tune into that tomorrow as well. So live reporting here at Bryant-Denny Stadium, Colin Cahill, NBC 15 News.